Hello, welcome to Kids Invent Stuff, the YouTube channel where we bring to life kids' invention ideas. I'm Ruth. And I'm Sean, and last month we challenged kids to send us their ideas for crazy inventions to make boring jobs a little bit more exciting or faster. And we were sent loads of amazing kids' ideas, like six-year-old Jack's idea for a dancing robot on roller skates that makes your breakfast. And Lexi and Henry's idea for an awesome Lego hoover and sorter to help you put away your Lego. And Francesca, who's six, who designed tidying up boots with suction soles so you can walk up and down the walls. And usually this is the part where I say, but this month we can only bring to life one invention idea. But things are a little bit different. Most of us are in lockdown because of COVID-19, which means that Sean and I are actually in different places and we can't build together. So we have decided that instead of building one invention idea, we are going to build Two. Which means that in this video we're going to build one kid's invention and then the following week we're going to test it and then after that we're going to build another one and then we're going to test that one too. So you were getting two inventions instead of one. Bonus! So for our first invention we're going to bring to life nine-year-old Jessica's walk-through shower. Her invention is going to make showering a lot more fun. Let's build this. Go! Kids invent stuff. To bring to life Jessica's invention, we're going to build a shower cubicle with a built-in conveyor belt and a pump to fire out foam and water. And we're going to include some other fun accessories too. So to build the back and the sides of Jessica's invention, we first need to build a frame. And we're going to build that frame in some wood. Let's go. So we've covered the front of the frame and the back of the frame in this PVC waterproof sheeting to make it look like the inside of a shower. You know you make something really big and then you're like, I'm not sure I can move this. This is our shower cubicle. You go along, you jump on the treadmill. As you go along, you get sprayed with water and you get clean, you go and you're all washed. So now it's time to add some water to our cubicle. So we've got this power shower pump and the water comes in two of these pipes here and is fired out at a much higher pressure on the other side. And that's gonna sit behind our cubicle to make sure the person gets really wet. And then we've got this piping that we're going to use to attach all that together and some fittings and some fixings to plumb all of that into our cubicle so it becomes a proper shower. Let's go. The water for Jessica's invention will come from the tap along this pipe up into our power shower pump where it will split in two. It'll come along here and feed our foam and our water. So you might have noticed that we haven't got a shower head and that's because we're going to do what we did on our waterfall swing. So with that we drilled holes through the top of the pipe and that allowed us to control the pressure. Making helpful suggestions, aren't you? Yeah? Just wanted to call and see if everything was going okay with the build and check that everything was all on schedule. Now for Jessica's invention, one of the key components is a conveyor belt. Now we made a conveyor belt for our automatic pie dispenser that drops a pie on your head every time you get a text. However, that isn't really big enough. It's a tiny conveyor belt compared to what we need. And in lockdown, conveyor belts are quite hard to get hold of. But I've managed to get hold of a treadmill and I think if I can detach the bottom bit that you walk on from the control panel, then we will have our conveyor belt. Let's do this. 
So we've taken the panelling off uh, this section of the treadmill and this is a second hand treadmill and it's very dirty, it's obviously been uh, very well used, might have to get a hoover in that. So the treadmill is connected to this control panel uh, by this wire here. And so the plan is to extend that wire so we can separate off the conveyor belt and the control panel. Don't try this at home. So when we made the waterfall swing, Sean pranked me by putting washing up liquid in the water and this created this amazing foam. So that gave me an idea for Jessica's invention. If I put shower gel in a section of the pipe, then hopefully that should foam out. So as you go along, you get covered in the shower gel and then the second pipe rinses you off. So let's put some soap in here and see if it foams. It foams. So one of the features of Jessica's invention are these hands with sponges on that kind of clean you as you go through. So we thought we've got these beautiful skin coloured gloves and we're going to attach them to our lovely sponges. Now you might be thinking, what's the rice for? Well actually these gloves just look a bit flimsy. So we're going to fill the gloves with some rice so that they look more hand-like and we're going to attach them to our sponges and we're going to have those all dangling but we want them to spin round so as you're going along the conveyor belt all the sponges are washing you and getting you nice and clean probably hitting you in the face but mainly washing you and so we're going to attach them all to this triangle so it's going to look a little bit like those child's mobiles that spin round. So we've got this little motor, which is actually designed for drones. So that's gonna make the whole thing spin round, powered by our battery. Let's make this hand sponge washing thing. Come take my hand and see the world around you. The time is right, just let the lights surround you. And step by step you feel it coming alive. The feeling deep down inside and you've got Round, it gives you a lovely wash. Beautiful. The first test of the hand sponge mobile. Go. Oh yeah! So you go along. <laughs> so this challenge was in partnership with the Intellectual Property Office, which is the UK's governing body for patents, trademarks, designs. Essentially, they help inventors protect their ideas and logos and Jessica has created her own logo for her invention, the Walkthrough Shower Company. So we thought it should appear on her invention. So we finished building Jessica's invention and all that's left to do now is to test it. A massive thank you to OKDo, OK Ardman Animations and the Intellectual Property Office for supporting this challenge. We do this every single month so if you like this sort of thing don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you know any kids who might like their invention ideas brought to life then me and Ruth are the people to do it and kids can send us their ideas on our website which will appear on the screen below. So join us next week when we'll be testing Jessica's invention. But I can't be the only one that gets wet. Thank you for that, Ruth. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe.